So when I left you last time I had a very nearly made neck. This time I'm going to carve the neck profile, so stick with me and I'll show you how I'll go about that. Okay, so carving the neck. I really, really enjoy this bit. It's one of my favourite parts of guitar building. So to start this, you can see I've laid out some lines along the neck. So there's the centre line and then there's lines that roughly half those distances. I've also got a couple of templates, one for the first fret, one for the twelfth fret. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to rough away these areas at the first and twelfth frets with rasps until these templates fit. And once we've got a fit for the first and twelfth fret, it's literally simply a case of joining up those two profiles with a series of straight lines until we get somewhere near the profile and we'll just finish sand it from there. So without much further ado, I'll get started. First fret done. Now we'll just start joining that all together. So what I'm doing there is I'm carving a facet onto the neck and now I'm just going to halve that facet, halve that one, half down there and slowly but surely we'll work our way down to having the neck profile we want. With that second set of facets cut in, I'm 
quite close to the actual profile now. So I'm just going to use the first and the 12th fret profiles that we cut earlier to guide what I'm doing. These Shinto saw rasps are brilliant for this job because not only do they take off a lot of material, they also allow you to keep the neck really straight. So that makes matching these profiles up quite a straightforward job. Now from this stage I'm not using the templates anymore, I'm not looking at the drawing. You don't play the guitar with a drawing or a template, you play it with your hand. So I'm just feeling the neck now, feeling how it, judging how it feels in my hand. I'm quite happy with that. It's almost got a V shape to it, which is what I like. I like a beefy neck, but with SGs being renowned for being a bit neck heavy, I'm not going to leave this one too thick. So that's that's roughed in now, it's not finished, but I'm going to just sort out the transitions at the heel and the headstock before I go too much further. So for this area around the volute, it's simply a case of just blending in until we match the neck profile with the profile of the shape that we want for the volute, and then we'll just blend in the heel area until it's comfortable in the hand. I think I'm nearly there with that now, but it's still a bit square through here, so I'm just going to take a little bit more out. Needs a little bit more sanding, but I'm happy with that now. Um, once that's all blended in, that'll look really, really nice. So. Next we move on to the other one.
Well that's the next shape for now, it's, um, it's nearly there, it could do with a bit more of a sand but we'll, we'll leave that until we're a bit closer to the finishing stage. So there's a few little jobs I want to finish off before I glue the neck in. Um, first one is just trial fitting the tuners, so I've used this template which I've fastened to the headstock and I've just used a transfer punch to mark out the centres for the tuners and I'm just going to drill out. First for the tuners at 6.5mm and, and then for the bushings at about 8.5mm. So there we have the headstock with the tuners fitted and a view of the back. It's looking quite nice now. Um, still needs a little bit of cleaning up but I'm happy with how this is at the moment. So with that done the next bit I'm going to tackle is to glue the neck in so that will be the next episode. Before I go I just want to say what a massive boost being involved in the great guitar build off has been for me and, and this channel and I know it's been great for a lot of other little channels too so first of all thank all of you who have watched who have subscribed etc um, massive thanks to Ben Crow and all the other people that have organized the great guitar build off if you haven't already subscribed please do so it makes a huge difference to the way that YouTube promote what I do um, and will ultimately get this work out to a wider audience that motivates me to spend more time in the shed making more stuff creating more content so please hit that subscribe button, make sure you click the bell notification as well and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks a lot for watching, bye bye.